this is officially the weirdest place I've ever started a video. I have this cup that I always pack as what I use. This stuff is you're gonna be your best friend. Pack nothing but glad. Today's video is actually sponsored by Jujube. Saw some sneak peeks. If you're new to this channel, welcome to the bag club. Let's jump in. With today's video, you guys are actually going to be able to have the opportunity to enter to win. I know, something's cheaper at Disney. Who would've thunk it? Good morning, you guys. We leave for Disney tomorrow. I'm also being quiet because I don't wanna wake my girls up. Well, this is officially the weirdest place I've ever started a video. And that's the bathroom, but hi, and welcome to today's prep and pack with me for Disney, or I guess I should say Disney's. This trip we're actually hitting both coasts, which blows my mind. It is like a dream come true experience and I can't believe we're doing it, but I'm taking you along as I prep and pack and I'm going to be sharing my best tips for you guys. So hold on tight. This video is going to be chalked full of them, lots of options. We are just to kind of set the stage here for you. We are going and doing two nights, three days at Disney World, and then we're going over to Disneyland. Very first time at Disneyland. We are avid Disney World people first time at Disneyland. We are going to be there for six nights, seven days. I'm so excited. We are flying Spirit and Frontier, multiple combinations of that to get there and there and back and wherever. But we're flying those options. We have three personal items that we will be allowed to carry. We will have our diaper bag and I did pay for one carry-on bag one carry-on bag. I was not pa like paying beyond that one bag. Um, that was enough as it was. So we're packing very minimal, basically personal item only. So let's dive into it. First things first, I'm going to do toiletries because it is eight days away and I want to make sure I have time to buy things. I have you guys tilted down here so you can see like what I'm working on, what I'm talking about and what we're going over. But starting out with the toiletries because I am not a fan of being frantic and last minute and packing the day before or the day of. So let's eliminate some of that stress and get you prepared now so you're not stressing and you can go into vacation feeling good because who likes to go in stressed? That's kind of the point of a vacation is to eliminate some of that. So let's do the toiletries. All right, so I have my handy dandy printable packing list here. I have both a Disneyland version and a Disney World version. This is both packing list and outfit planner, which I love. I can select which park we're going to, write down the outfits, what we're supposed to be wearing that day, and make sure I have every little thing. So for the toiletries, I'm gonna to be going through this section here so I can remember everything because it's the simplest things like your toothbrush or a hairbrush. I cannot tell you or count on both hands both hands, you guys. How many times I forgot to pack a hairbrush? <laughs> so thankfully, I made myself a packing list. I have these in my Etsy shop. I will link it down below. So if you don't want to forget your hairbrush, you can go check those packing lists out. Um, so yeah, I digress. Back to packing. Okay, so I have my train case, which I use for road trips or if we are flying and we have more room in our suitcase, we're doing checked bags, whatever, I do that. And I keep a lot of our toiletry travel specific items in this bag. So let's pop this open. But since we are doing so light, I'm gonna be packing in some little clear bags, which I will show in a second. But I have a little bit of everything. So I'm shopping my own toiletries first. So first tip, money saving hack, shop your own first. <laughs> Don't just automatically go out and buy it. If it's expired, throw it away if it's expired. Like if you've had it for two years and that's the last time you've used it, please throw it away. Do yourself a favor and buy a new one. But if you have it and it's not been that long since you used it, use that one. Save yourself some money. What we're gonna do is I have two clear bags. I have two different styles. This one is from a small shop. I will have her website and my discount code to get you guys some money savings off of these bags down below. And then I have this one from Amazon. So if you're a small shop or an Amazon person, I got you covered, but I'm using these two bags here. So one is going to be for our toiletry, like shower items, and then the other one's going to be for my makeup. Starting out with the shower items here. Got my little travel razor. I have my shaving cream deodorant because yeah there's enough in there don't want to stink 
And then let's see, makeup wipes. I'm gonna lay these over here and put these in my makeup bag as long as they'll fit. The cleansing water that I use, I don't have a ton left in that, but it should be enough to get me through this trip and then I can throw it. I have my face wash. I don't know that I recommend this one, but you know, I have it. That hairbrush that I'm always forgetting. I have this cup that I always pack. This is what I use for washing my girl's hair when I need to rinse it. So that comes in handy like a ton. This stuff, you guys, okay, if you, and I know this is awkward to talk about, and this is a terrible angle, I'm sorry you guys, but I'm popping in and out of the screen. Actually, hold on, let's fix this. Okay, that's better. I have a tripod I can adjust, I'm just being lazy. This stuff is you're gonna be your best friend if you chafe at all, or even if you don't think you chafe. I didn't used to, and then I had my girls and my thighs decided, hey, we're, we're a little raw, I don't know, I, I don't know what it is. I probably have gained a little bit of weight since then, no shame in the game, I'm a mom, it is what it is. I am proud of my thighs, but, <laughs> stretch marks and all but I digress again this stuff is going to be your best friend for your thigh area and even if you are wearing like spandex or like biker shorts things like that that prevent chafing for the most part it can still happen so do yourself a favor throw this in your bag and apply it every day your body will tell you where you need to apply it if you miss some spots so make sure to like follow up on that <laughs> Or you can even put it in your park bag. There's times I will do that and then pop into the bathroom and I'm like, Whoop, I'm getting a hot spot and I do not want this to get worse. So we're gonna fix this now. So put this in your park bag better yet. That way you're covered and not an issue. Now back to going through this stuff. And then I have this little coin bag from the same small shop and it has all of our hair ties, our bobby pins, things like that in there. Um, so I'm using that. I'll put that in my little hair bag. And then this is wrinkle spray. I like to toss this in because it's really helpful for when you are like packing everything small. Even if you like roll it and just think, okay, I'm not gonna have any wrinkles. You still have wrinkles unless you're just this like really professional packer, which I mean, most of us aren't. And then I will be tossing in my heat protectant, my girl's detangling spray that I have put into a little container there, and some stain spray because this is a must. Now here is where these space saving tips come in. So I have some things like my tiny travel strap, travel like stain spray and my um, wrinkle spray, things like that. You can't buy small travel size items of those once you arrive at your destination. But some things like a travel toothbrush, travel toothpaste, I mean, even face soap, you can even buy like shaving cream, things like that. Um, I have it and I wanna use it and I want to not have to buy it. But if you are really space saving, I always order us groceries no matter where we're going, beach, Disney, anywhere, mountains, whatever. I always order groceries, whether for pickup or delivery for us on that trip. Here's the hack is to buy your toiletries with your groceries. So I will usually, if I don't have them, buy makeup wipes. I will buy all this stuff instead of going to the store, running to Walmart, Target, wherever, right now and buying them to have to pack them and take them with me, I buy them there. I don't have to worry about it. They're there and I don't have to pack them. So kind of file that away as like a little space saving hack is buy that stuff with your groceries. Same thing applies to diapers, wipes, pull-ups, all that stuff that you need for your little ones. Buy that with your groceries too. Do not pack that. Do not waste space in your suitcase on diapers. Like seriously, just buy them there. It'll be so much easier, so much smoother, and you can pack a lot less and it will feel a lot more relaxing. You're just rolling up and your stuff's there. You have what you need but you didn't lug it through the airport. So what I like to do personally is to pack my makeup in my makeup bag or whatever I'm gonna be taking about a week before the trip. I've shared this hack over on Instagram, but I wanted to share it in a video here so you can hear it if you missed it on the reel. So what I do is I pack my makeup in that bag and I only use the makeup from that bag for the week, if I can. Now there's certain occasions you may not be able to do that, but for most of us as stay-at-home moms or whatever, or even work from home moms, or even if you go to a job, you can just look glowy and vacation-y that week. But I like to use out of that so I know exactly what I have pulled. Can I pull my face together with these products? Is there something I'm forgetting? Is there something that I've put in this bag that I just really don't need? I can actually ditch it and save some room, save some space. So that is one thing that I like to do is pack that up and have it ready. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And for the next week, I'm gonna be using out of this bag. 
And don't worry, I will have a link for all of my makeup in the description box below. I will have one, it'll just say makeup. And you can click on that and I will show you everything that I've put in this bag. Because it's gonna take a minute if I go through and show you every single product. Now that I have all my bags organized, it went from two to four, but I also wanted things a little more compartmentalized and organized so that they can be in a separate bag to go to a special place in our hotel room. So we'll get into that, but I'm also packing all of this stuff for myself, my group, my two daughters, as well as my husband. So everything is going in these bags, so it makes it super like streamlined and organized. So I have one is my makeup bag. I have a counter bag which has like makeup remover things, deodorant for myself and my husband, face lotion, sunscreen for the both of us, um, and then also I have our and then I have our wrinkle spray tossed into this bag. Next up, I have a hair bag for myself. My husband can use the hairbrush. We all use it, and it's just all this little bag. We have hair ties for my girls, things like that. I can throw in any little like bows or anything. I can toss those into that bag if I need to. And then I have a shower bag. So this will go straight into the bathroom, and it has face wash in it. It has my razor and everything. Now, there are a few things that I'm gonna need for this shower bag, like my girls are gonna need some soap, but you're also, you're not seeing me pack and talk about shampoo, can conditioner, things like that. So the hotels we're staying at have that. Um, when we're at Disney World in Florida especially, I don't pack it for there because I enjoy the toiletries in room. So I use their shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Depending on the category of resort, they'll even have a lotion in there for you. So you can use that. So I like to use those products there, especially if staying on property. Now, this is our first time to Disneyland. Hopefully we'll like them, but if I don't, I can always run down to the gift shop and get a body wash or something. I'm just not gonna worry about packing it because I feel pretty pretty hopeful um, that we can get through a few days of just using the hotel stuff there. So that's what we're gonna do for that stuff. But one thing that I do not skimp on is my shaving cream. Mama don't want no razor burn. But everything else, I don't mind kind of flying by the seat of my pants with basically. So we're gonna do that. And then last but not least, sunscreen. If you have not ordered your sunscreen, if you've not bought your sunscreen yet, you need to do that. And if you also haven't had gotten one of these yet you need it in your life it's a solar buddy not sponsored i just really really love this thing and it makes it, it has been such a game changer for getting sunscreen on my kids myself my husband and i just i have to shout it from the rooftop so every packing video you're gonna get a solar buddy pitch but you just pop the end off and you kind of roll it around and it is even really great for getting that pesky mineral sunscreen in um I love it and it works really well for us. It holds a regular like three ounce bottle. We've used the Sun Balm. Um, I will have the one that I have linked below. I had to like get this in the store. I like the Bebo, I think it is, Botanicals. Um, I like their like sunscreen. I will put a link to the one that we use down below, but it is amazing. I love it so much. And you can fill this thing up with it. And so I need to order sunscreen because this thing is getting low. I have like very little in this from our beach trip and I need more sunscreen. So that is one thing that's going on my list to order. And so that's one thing about my packing list is I will write next to it, order, add to groceries or no, like make little notes for myself of how I'm going to get it. So whether I'm going to take it and pack it and take it with me, or if I'm going to buy it there order it there I will make notes for myself because mom brain is real and we don't want to forget anything so that's packing all of this now let's start pulling together some outfits oh thought I was done but I did want to share this I am not a contact glasses wearer but my husband is and so I wanted to share this little case we got from him on Amazon hold on this lighting sucks that's better okay but it's this little glasses case it's double-sided so on this side it has a mirror and then it has some spots for you to put your contact solution eye drops whatever you can kind of do, differentiate between those a spot for your your contacts and then these tweezers I don't know what that's for I'm not a contact person <laughs> I'm not a glasses person but it has the tweezers in there um, but I really liked this stuff and he is really enjoying having it all in like one clay case so you can just grab this one thing and he's ready to go and then on this side it stores his glasses which is really nice but that keeps everything consolidated and in one space because organization when traveling to me is so key and keeps me sane as a parent and even for my husband it's like hey we know where things are those stressful situations are just kind of a lot less stressful when and you're all set up.
Now that I have all of her special dresses that I've ordered, like princess dresses, things like that, which I will share in a little bit, they're so stinking cute. But now that I have those all like picked out and everything, I'm gonna go through and fill in the gaps with things from her closet. I've bought enough of princess dresses and I'm like, I'm tapping out, I can't buy anything else. I'm cutting myself off. Um, so I'm gonna pull from the things that she has. We have some Disney pieces, we wear Disney things at home, so I can pull from that, I can pull from regular clothes. So we're gonna throw together some outfits for that and then pile them into the guest room. And then I'm gonna have to repeat this process for my younger toddler, myself, and my husband because fun fact about our family, I don't let my husband pack. And that's not because I'm a control freak, well, maybe a little bit, but <laughs> it is because on our honeymoon, 11 years ago, let's see, we will be married for 11 years on June, June 23rd. It is June, hold on, it's June 22nd, so tomorrow's our anniversary. So 11 years ago, my husband, my dear sweet husband that I love to the end of the world and to the moon and back and all the things, heck, nothing but plaid. I'm not talking just plaid shirts. We had plaid shirts, plaid shorts, plaid underwear, and plaid shoes. Shoes, you guys, shoes, plaid shoes. Everything was plaid. I was walking around with the plaid man. Now while his style and everything has gotten a lot better in the last 11 years, I just still choose to pack for him so that I can also coordinate outfits. I like to do that. It's a lot of fun. So that's a rabbit trail of why my husband doesn't pack for himself most of the time. So I at least pull the outfits in, even if he wants to like throw it in his own bag. That's one thing, but a lot of times I just make it simpler and pack for the family. So it is what it is. It works for my family. You may not want to pack for your husband. You may think he is a grown man and he can pack his own stuff but that's a side rant about packing for husbands so whatever category you fall into that's how I pack just Sherry but now that I have all of hers done we're gonna pull those outfits I've got to repeat the process the whole thing so let's pull some outfits for her forget the rain jacket. I love this one and I will have it linked below because it's so stinking cute. All the characters on it. So I've got that. Can't forget the rain jacket and it will double as like even like a windbreaker at night. Oh and a sweatshirt. Hold on. Okay tossing in this pink sweatshirt. It's just princesses in it. We've had it for a little while. I don't know that I can even still link it. I got it at Target like a year or so ago. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and have this in there because apparently it gets chilly at night even during the summer months in california so that was one thing a lot of people have told me not been to california before so i don't know the experience but i'm gonna pack that just in case also if she gets a little chilly in the hotel room whatever we have something we can throw on her that's warm so i've got all of this set now typically i do and you will see on my packing list if you get it i do two outfits per day for the trip with packing so light i just simply can't do that but i have strategically planned how i can do laundry because i like to do laundry on vacation that's just a personal preference i like to come home with clean clothes but i can do the laundry and then be able to kind of flip flop some of the outfits and be outfit repeaters i know terrible but we're gonna do it and so that's one thing that we can do and be able to pack a little bit less i do have some backup outfits but i just don't have a second backup outfit for every single day so that's what we're going with Okay, you guys, so today's video is actually sponsored by Jujubee, and they are today launching a new Disney collection. It is their Disney 100 collection, so it's for in, in honor of the Disney's 100 year anniversary, and I'm really excited. I saw some sneak peeks that they emailed over to me of colors and patterns, and I am so excited to get in this box. So I'm going to stop talking, and we're just going to open this box and look at it together because I'm just... We're, we're bag people around here. If you're new to this channel, welcome to the bag club. So let's jump in. <laughs> it's even my color. I love, like, I love purple. So they sent over their new Zealous backpack and actually with 
today. I'm just gonna share this first. With today's video, you guys are actually going to be able to have the opportunity to enter to win one of the backpack diaper bags, the Bellas from them, as well as the Be Cool, which is their little cooler bag. So we'll dive into all of this in a second. You're gonna see me pack this up, so you're gonna get kind of an in-depth tour of the bag as I'm using it and packing it. So to enter this giveaway, I need you to do two things for me. So the first thing is I need you to go down to the comment section and leave me a comment with your favorite Disney character. This is Disney 100, over the 100 years of Disney. What's your favorite character? And if you have a special memory, whatever, let us know that down in the comments. I love reading those, they're so fun. Second part of that is I do need you to subscribe to my channel. If you're not already, click the subscribe button, join the internet fam if you are you're good to go. You've already done that second step. All you gotta do is leave me a comment. But if you haven't, do that. And if you are not following Jujube on YouTube, I will have their channel link below. Go over and subscribe to them as well. And yeah, that's how you enter the bag. I will be selecting a winner here in the next few days. And so go ahead, enter. I will have all the details of like when the giveaway ends and when you can like have to stop entering and all that good stuff down below. But go ahead, leave me a comment. Now let's dive into this bag since I've got all the details out of the way. So I'm really excited about this and I think it's going to be perfect. I love a backpack style diaper bag. Shoulder bags, tote bags for a diaper bag are just a big fat no for me personally. Hold on, let me get all the plastic off. Now that all the plastic's off, first off, how cute is this bag. I love the color, I love the print, and the whole like Disney 100, that placement. Oh my goodness, I'm happy with that placement. This one looks fun. I love that it has padded straps. And also a big kicker with the Jujube diaper bags is that they're machine washable. And with kids, to me, that is such like a huge thing because you know it's gonna get dirty, you know something's gonna get spilled on it or in it, or you're gonna have a pouch explode or something is going to happen. And the fact that you can wash this is absolutely amazing. So hats off to Jujubee for making that. Now let's start kind of setting this bag up, packing it up for the airport for our travel day. Um, usually I'll do that for the travel day. And then once we get to Disney, I will kind of reset, take a few things out that we don't need, like activities and things in the park we're gonna need less activities because we're in an activity. But for now, we're gonna pack it up for the airport, so let's do that. Holy cow, look at how much that bag opens, you guys. That's insane. Okay, was not expecting that. Here at the bottom, you'll have these mesh elastic line pockets, which is really great. Love organization. They've got two more here. And then one giant pocket here along the back that is also elastic. And then here at the top, you have these little bands, which are perfect. Like I could see you could throw some diapers up here if you wanted to be able to like quickly grab some. It's actually meant for a baby blanket. So if you're using that, that is perfect for that as well. I am really, really into this. And then here in the top, it has another zipper section that is kind of like a felt soft lined. I'm assuming this is for like a tech pocket so you could put your phone and things like that in there. So that is really, really cool as well. Coming down to the front, again, lots of pockets, stretchy key holder, more pockets, a zipper pocket down in there. And then here on the front, just has a large main zipper compartment. So lots of organization, lots of places to put things. So let's start putting some things in this bag. Okay, if you know me, you know that I'm going to be putting two wet bags with a change of clothes in these bags immediately because, you know, kids are messy and travel days, I don't wanna have to be digging into a suitcase or finding things. They take up virtually no space in the bottom of this bag, so that's exactly what's going on the bottom. Next up, we're going to pull out this little Be Quick here, and I'm gonna turn this into a crossbody, and this is going to be my diaper changing clutch, diaper changing bag, so that's what we're gonna do now. For this bag, I'm gonna to toss in three diapers and one bonus backup pull-up for my toddler. And then for this, I'm actually going to toss in a pack of flushable wipes. And you may be wondering, Ashley, well, why flushable? I'm glad you asked. So the thing with flushable is I can use these for both my toddler who is potty trained and my toddler who isn't potty trained. So it works really well for both and with them being flushable, I can get my toddler who is potty trained extra clean because that can be really difficult. And if I wanna get extra clean, I can get extra clean with these. So we're gonna go ahead and throw in this this pack of flushable wipes and then also I'm going to throw in some diaper rash spray because it's a must. Even if your kid doesn't use it at home, highly recommend using it at Disney and in the parks and on in travel just in general when your, your child's going to be in their diaper a lot longer than normal most likely. 
and this is perfect i can actually adjust the strap so i can fix this to however i want it to but even at this tightest it works fine i can throw it over and then also my toddler can carry this if she wants to so i love this perfect for that this is the be quick and it's going right in here so i can be quick with my diaper changes next up i'm going to throw in my little mommy bag this just has like personal items feminine items for you know self-explanatory. Next up, I'm going to use this little pouch from their Little Mermaid collection, actually, and this has our snacks in it. So they're all nice and hidden so my girls don't know what I have and I can pull them out secretly. And then I also, from their Little Mermaid collection, have my mealtime bag. If you don't know what a mealtime bag is or what to put in it, I will have a link to everything I have in this mealtime bag down below so you can check it out. But it is, needless to say, amazing. And if you don't have one or you're just curious what other people have in their mealtime bags, you'll wanna check that link out because it's amazing. One thing I will show you though is these little guys, this goes with us everywhere. This actually will fit into a traditional water bottle. So say at Disney, a lot of times you can get a kid's water bottle with this. I will toss some Pedialyte in it to keep my kids nice and hydrated. And this little water spout makes sure that it does not leak. You can turn it upside down, you can squeeze it and pour it and it doesn't come out, but you can drink from it. So. It is amazing, comes in a pack of three. There's another one in here somewhere, but there's three of these and I love them for my kids. They're amazing, but that's just one of the few things that are awesome and in my mealtime bag. So if you've not checked that out, go check it out. Now we're gonna start throwing in some activities. First are these LCD little tablets. These are great for drawing. I have one for both of them, plus the strings on these. So you can't lose the pens because I lost pens on others, so there we go. Next up, we're gonna toss in these busy boards. So they're gonna go into the bag as well. These are a little bit on the thicker side, so depending on like how much room you have, there are other options that are thinner, only have two pages, but we're gonna have lots of flights with this multi-leg trip since we're going to Disney World. And then on to Disneyland, I just, I would rather be prepared. So it has multiple pages of activities and matching and colors and learning and all kinds of stuff in here. So if we're wanting screen free time, this is going to be our option for that and something that will keep them occupied for a while. So we've got those two, one for each of the girls, because if you're a parent of multiples, you understand this, you have to have the same exact thing in the same exact color and you have to have like one for each child. So we're in that phase, maybe we'll get out of that phase, but for right now we're in that phase and I am just minimizing the meltdowns already by having two. So let's go. <laughs> I'm actually gonna move this snack bag up here in the top where the blankets go because it literally fits perfectly up there. So I'm gonna do that instead. And then on this side of the bag, since I do have some room, as you can see in here, I'm gonna go in with these little sets. I have this reusable sticker set that is a bluey little set that I got for my younger toddler and she is in a bluey phase, but it folds out and it has a couple of different scenes here over 60 repositionable stickers. So it has three different sheets here of stickers, but you can do the beach, you can do um, their little like walking to the beach, the little bridge path there. So you've a couple of options there, but we're gonna go ahead and toss this in there for her. And then I have this magnetic puzzle set. So it's one on this side, so I can just pop this out. It is all magnetic and then you can break it apart and they can be able to like put it together right here and it keeps it all consolidated. And then also on the other side, there's another complete puzzle over here that you can do. So that's pretty cool, it gives you two different options. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in this side as well and get this zipped up. Board books, I will link the ones that we, the other ones that we have that are a little bit thinner. They don't take up as much room, but I wanna use these because I think they're gonna last longer. So we're gonna use those, but I do have some room up here if I needed to throw like a wallet or anything like that in there, I can definitely do that. First thing going in there is my charger because I don't wanna lose battery. This thing is amazing. It has like, charging cables attached for everything you need. And then it also plugs straight into the wall. So you can't forget anything. Mom brain is not gonna screw you up with this one. And then it does have a little um, LCD screen on there when you turn it on or when it's charging, it'll tell you how much battery it has left. You guys, I can get over two full phone charges out of this thing, which is insane to me um so you need this in your life it is my favorite out of all the mini chargers that i have tried everything from fuel rods to solar bricks to everything this one is the most convenient and gets used the most both while we're traveling and when we're at home this thing's great. Next thing, I'm gonna toss in a little bit of sanitizer. Got my wallet and keys here. Then I have my sunglasses and I'm gonna actually pop these up in this top 
soft pocket here. And then in the bottom here, I am going to use these little mini packs. These are like little party favors, but I'm gonna toss them in here. That way, if I need to grab something really quick for my girls to play with while they're sitting in the stroller and we're having to like push through the airport or gather things or do whatever, I can access these really easily. And I'm gonna toss in some lippy products for myself over here. <laughs> Front, I am going to have one pouch and one snack bar, so a snack for each of the kids, really easily accessible that I can whip out whenever I need to, so that's like my super easy accessible stash right there in the front. On the sides here, I do have room still left that I can put their water bottles for when we get through security and want to fill those up. And these pockets are actually insulated. They don't have that like silver lining insulation, but they are insulated. Like they're, it's amazing. It's like hidden insulation. So it's really, really cool. But I am really happy with how much this holds. And so I think this is awesome. Now let me show you what the girls are using. Okay, so the girls got their own cute little matching mommy bags. And they are the Jujube Little Bestie Plus. How stinking cute are these? Take the tags off these and then start packing them up. Now I know I'm gonna get questions because wait a minute, didn't you say you were packing personal item only? So yes, cause I like to over explain apparently, but I am using a personal item and a carry on. So I have, I'm gonna actually use this little like suitcase that I'm using as a table right now. But after that, then my husband is going to use personal item only and my daughter is going to have personal item only. Now I will get the diaper bag because we have my youngest toddler, Bella, who is not quite two yet. And so when you have a lap child, when you fly Spirit Airlines though, you do get your diaper bag and it doesn't count for your personal item or your carry-on. So that's really nice and I appreciate that. Now these are going to be their little mini personal items, but I'm going to leave room in one of our carry-on like personal bags. That way, if I need to, if they say anything, I can just tuck them down in there and consolidate really easily. But if not, then it'll all work out and they can wear them, but they will be room to consolidate if we are asked to. So just, if anybody's trying to pack that way, that's how I'm doing this. I'm not trying to be sneaky and like get an extra bag and everything's stuffed to the brims. I'm gonna have room for these, but they're just gonna wear them for fun unless we're told otherwise. So with the little Bestie Pluses, these are cute little bags and actually hold way more than you think they will. So that's pretty cool nice but you do just unzip them and they fold out they do come with a little changing mat which has the print from the inside of the bag and then the outside of the bag here on this side as well so you can use that whether you want to use it as a changing mat or just to lay down as like something to protect whatever surface they're like playing on or something you can use it for that too but what I think is really cool about this bag is you can use it and wear it two different ways let me show you Okay, so you can carry it like a crossbody or you can carry it or it can be carried like a little backpack, which is adorable. And especially for a little kid, this is like perfect toddler size. It can also, you can expand it out and an adult could wear this bag like a backpack, but I'm using it for my girls and that is going to be perfection for them. So let me show you a few of the things I'm gonna pack in their bag here for a little carry-on style bag, personal item bag for them so that they have a little bit of independence and are excited about when I hand these to them when we get out of the car at the airport, they're like, ah, new things. <laughs> and it's like really exciting to them. How cute is that? It's got the 100 on it. I love that. First thing gonna be going in these bags are my girls new little sets of magnetic tiles. So these are new to my family. They're not new by any stretch of the imagination but we have just purchased these for our girls. We've not had them. We've had family that has them, friends that have them. So I'm getting a pack of these to toss in their bags because they've really enjoyed them playing with other people's. And so having their own, they'll be so excited. And then the next thing I'm tossing in there are these little cups. And you're probably like, wait a minute, those are the tiniest cups I've ever seen. Okay, so these actually are expandable cups. Now they're all the same size, but they do expand. So that's really cool. And the girls can like put things in them. I expect snacks to be put in here, most likely, but they can suction to things. So we can suction them to the tray table. We can suction them to the window. They can like play with them, um, which is exciting. And then once we get to our location, these can turn into bath toys, pool toys, whatever, because especially when it comes to water, my girls at least love like scooping and pouring and dumping. And so these are gonna be amazing for that. They take up very, very little room. And it comes in a six pack, so I'm gonna put three in each of their bags so they are set. And again, this doubles as a multi-use toy, which is amazing, especially for travel and when you're trying to pack personal item carry-on only. This is awesome. Next, I'm gonna dive into my 
bag box of tricks. So these, the two things I just put in there are new. The rest of the stuff, I'm gonna just pull used, like old stuff, but here's the key kicker, is when we get home, I do not put my travel toys into rotation with regular toys. So we don't play with these, they don't go on our play area, nothing like that they stay in this little basket, which is why it's like kind of, it's a hodgepodge mess. It's got sound machines and all kinds of other travel stuff in here, but it's also where I keep my toys and that way it's kind of new and oh, these are only special toys that we get when we're traveling. So it kind of keeps that excitement so you don't have to buy all brand new stuff every time. Cause I know that gets overwhelming and especially as a family that we're travel vloggers, travel YouTubers, Disney YouTubers, we travel a lot and if I'm going out and spending a bunch of money on brand new toys i don't even know how much every single trip that gets really expensive so i like to do a couple of new things and then we're going to incorporate some old things so let's dive into here and i'll show you some other things that you can pull out and use or find inexpensively one of those being play-doh do not underestimate the power of play-doh so i have some of these you can buy a like giant party pack and it has the little minis in it and you can like switch them out and everything so i'm going to put a couple of those in here let's switch out these colors two in this bag. Haha, -ha, there's a green. Then we're gonna put two into the other bag. Pop toys. So these are just little sensory pop toys. I'm gonna toss those in there. And actually, instead of tossing them inside, I am going to snap these to the outside of their bags so that they can grab them. We can get them off easy. Kind of like a little keychain. And it also doesn't take up room inside of the bag. So that's what we're gonna do with those. That is perfect. They have a toy and they can like sit there and hold their bag and play with the pop toy when we're going through security or like getting past or whatever. I'm going to toss in these little toys. These are actually from McDonald's, but any McDonald's toys, like just kind of maybe stick them back if you can hide them from your kids, not like pull them out when they get their kids meal. I don't know, just ideas. I'm spitballing here, but this is stuff that we can do. You can do little people, little figurines. You can do like, at the, usually at the grocery store, they have like little figurines at the checkout. You can do those too, whatever like fits your family and style, go for that. Um, I do have these little pop purses too that they can use in the parks. I don't think I'm going to worry about carrying these since they do have their tiny little backpacks like this and they have pop toys, but this is another option. Um, I just wanted to share these, but they have little zippers and they're actual purses, so you can use those. Um, these guys are favorites. I have more around here. Oh, here they are. These are huge hits. They're little like sensory tubes. And so I will put two in each of the girls um, bags here because they're just they're a lot of fun. Plus you can connect them and like build things out of it. So I'm all about things that can do multiple things. And another thing my girls love are their little race cars. So these can be just traditional matchbox cars, whatever, but those are fun. I'm gonna toss those in. Okay, so for now, I think that's all I'm gonna throw in here. I might try to find them each a new little like Imagine Ink coloring book or something, something mess free um, to be able to toss in here. But other than that, I think these are pretty good and they should keep them occupied for quite a while, especially if we get involved. It's not just giving your kids toys and hoping they'll play with them and hoping they'll be quiet and hoping that it's going to go well. You really have to be invested into it. It's just part of going on vacations with your kids. You got to get creative. You got to build things. Hey, what should we build? Let's build this or let's build that. Um, so you can kind of dive in and do things with them. We'll play Play-Doh with the girls, you know, all the things, but it definitely has plenty of room, even though we have quite a few little toys in here, still lots of room left. Um, so I'm gonna probably toss in something else later, but for right now, I think that's gonna work. And that has their cute little bags all set. Okay, and then last but not least is the bee pool. This is actually the other piece that you can win. So you can win the Zealous Pack Pack, like we packed up earlier. Words are apparently hard, but this is the other one that you can win. It has the little like zippers on it, and it also has a little pocket, kind of a V shaped, little V shaped pocket here in the front. And so these will pull open. They have all the little like plastic on them to keep them from getting scratched up. So we're gonna just unwrap those like a Christmas present. Now let's open this up to the inside. It has that shiny insulated material. And then it does come, whoop, little things to toss, but it does come with a little crossbody strap, which is really cool. Um, it is nice to be able to use this and it actually extends out pretty, pretty far. Like, I think this is 
about as far as I can get it to get. So put this on. So there you go. And you can wear it like so. So if, say you're going in, if we wanted to like pack the girls lunches in here and take them into a restaurant or something with us, then we could totally do that. Or if you have like bottles of water or snacks or juice boxes or anything like that, you can carry those around really easily. Um, having to go through like security or something, you can like pop this on and not have to worry about like another hand of like holding on to it. So that's really cool, but that is awesome. And it definitely will fit quite a bit. And I am excited about this and it's just, this print you guys i can't get over it i think it is so cute i love it having so many characters on it it's just fun and i love it but thank you again so so much to jujube for sponsoring today's video and i cannot wait for one of you guys to win the diaper bag in this little be cool set and i love opportunities when i get to try out new products and get them in your hands that's just like icing on the cake when it's like i can share with you it's like it's fun i love it so thank you again jujube and let's continue on with our packing because we've got to get all those outfits into packing cubes into bags into suitcase so this thing is like still stuck to my finger <laughs> So let's continue prepping and packing for this trip. Okay, this bed looks like a freaking bomb exploded on it. So let's work on a couple of packing cubes for the hotel room and the stroller. That way I can just pull them out, set things up right when we get there and we're good to go. Okay, so I'm going in with my favorite packing cubes. These are from Amazon. I will have them linked down below. I've tried compression. I've tried a bunch of different types. And honestly, I keep coming back to these. They just, they hold their shape. I just really, really enjoy them so much more than compression. And I feel like I can get just as much in here as I can with a compression packing cube and like in my suitcases so you know what these are my favorites I these I love these so what we're gonna do is take this first one it's a little bit smaller but I'm gonna make it my hotel room bag so these are just things that we like to use in the hotel room just to keep it organized and a little more sane and just perfect for traveling with a toddler so first two things I'm gonna throw in here are these disposable diaper pails self-explanatory they keep the stink in and not in your hotel room so highly recommend these next up I'm not gonna put this in there because it's awful big and it's just gonna take up all the space in this packing cube but it is my collapsible um, laundry basket I love this thing it folds up as you can see really really small and I love being able to throw our dirty clothes into it they're not, they're not just like laying all, all around the floor and also it gives you something to carry them back and forth to the laundry in so I'm gonna do that and then I'm also taking laundry detergent sheets these are amazing I buy them in a back in a big box at Costco and so I'll use them at home and I take them on the go too and it's just so much more cost effective and easier to travel with than a lot like liquid laundry detergent or having to order some or buy it when you're there because that's really expensive usually so laundry sheets for the win those are going to go in there for bath time I'm going to go ahead and pop these in there this is a little toy set I got picked up at the dollar spot at Target a few months ago been loving these so taking it back once again next cube we're gonna make for our stroller items. So stroller fans, this is a misting one, game changer. If you are going to Disney World or Disneyland, wherever, it's gonna be hot most of the time. So this is a game changer. We used to have just a regular fan and we have seen the light and this is just a thousand times better. We have two of those, one's for each of our girls. Handheld stroller fan, or handheld fans, they're not stroller fans, but they're handheld fans. And you can set them up and they can mist you and they are heaven in your hand. You need these in your life, I'm telling you. Cooling towels, we purchased these at Disney. They're actually cheaper there. You can buy them on Amazon if you want to like pre-buy them, but they're actually cheaper at Disney. Surprising, I know, something's cheaper at Disney. Who would have thunk it? And they're not fashionable, but they're very functional. I'm gonna do a little stroller tag for decorating the stroller stroller lights these are actually shaped like mickey himself and make it a thousand times easier to find your stroller at night if you're not using those you're wasting so much time looking for your stroller in the dark i promise you then i'm going to use my stroller hook this is great for cups or just random things that need to be hung on the stroller so i always take one of those with me this piece is a side mesh net but this is not going in the bag because we will use this at the airport another thing that i like to keep in my stroller is a reusable shopping bag tote bag whatever you want to do this is amazing this is like my game changer thing that i've been using for years and i love it and i love that it's helped so many of you guys too but this is great for getting on the bus and getting off the bus. This is great for getting through security, things like that. You can put a lot of things in here and you're not having to carry so much through. Um, it just makes it so much more simpler. When you have a shopping bag 
in your stroller. Even if you pack light and you're minimal, you end up with like a rain jacket or a cover or an umbrella or all these different little things that you just have to like shuffle through. And having a bag just makes it so much more consolidated and easy. And so no matter if I am packing like I'm a pack mule or if I'm packing light, this is a must. Now when it comes to laying out my clothes and outfits for our trip, I like to lay them out in order of days. That way I can see everything. I know that we have an outfit for a specific day or I'm able to know that I need to kind of switch things around and be able to wash something and wear it again another day. I'm a visual person, so this really helps me. I mentioned this later, but when it comes time to putting things in packing cubes, be sure to pack everything for the day in one packing cube. So what I mean by that is pack all your kids' clothes, your clothes, your spouse's clothes, whatever into one packing cube. That way it makes it a lot easier. You pull out that one cube for the day and you're good to go. No questions asked. You're not having to look at anything, pull out any list or look on your phone or anything like that. You know exactly what's happening. When I was packing and talking about all this stuff, I kind of glazed over rain gear. So don't forget to pack that for every member of your family, down to your little kids. Ever since Lucy was like one year old, I've been buying her a rain jacket. And so be sure to pack something for everyone. I will have some of our favorites linked down below, but I find that a rain jacket works way better than some lightweight poncho. Everybody suggests the ones from the Dollar Tree and those things are garbage, honestly. Just buy yourself a rain jacket. You can use it at home. You can use it on vacation. And don't forget that rain cover for your stroller. You're gonna want it even if rain isn't on the forecast because it might be once you get there. And then one last tip that I forgot to share about like diaper bags, things like that with your activities for your kids when traveling, make sure you've opened them. So don't leave them like all sealed in the packaging if they come with like plastic wrap on them or the markers like have to be torn out of a certain area, something like that. Go ahead and open those up and that way they are ready to go and you're not having to like deal with all of the trash and garbage that goes along with opening something new in the diaper bag or in the airport or wherever on the airplane. And it just makes it a lot simpler and also makes it a lot faster when you're needing to give it to your kids because they're ready for an activity and their patience level isn't quite where it should be or isn't just there at all. So sometimes you know how it is as an even adult, we get excited about things. So I wanted to share that tip. Now let's move on to my electronics organization and packing because I need to get that done next. Now, when it comes to packing electronics and charging cables, I like to have them all organized. You could have guessed that, but organization is very popular with me. But I like to use this little travel organizer. We have so many cables in here. We just pop them in here and pull them out for things even here at the house. They just kind of live in this bag. That way it makes it easier for packing. We have all kinds of charging cables in multiple types because we do have like stroller fans and different like battery operated things that need to be charged. And a lot of times they end up all being needing to be charged at the end of the night. So it's just easier to have everything here together. Um, even your magic bands have to be charged if you have magic band plus and then on the bottom side it, it does have this little section and so i have a couple of our fans these are like fun for the girls and they're also like little toys basically we prefer our misting fans so these are the girls basically toys i do take some extra like double a batteries because double a batteries are what goes into the um, bubble ones if you need replacement batteries for those and then i do take some of the little like button batteries or whatever they're called. Um, and I keep those in here and that way I can replace batteries in like their LCD tablets or anything like that if I need to. Another thing that I like to toss in here is this guy and it is a little charging station so I can plug things in. This just saves us from having to plug things in here, there and everywhere in the room. So I really, really like having something like that with us and it just fits right down in here perfectly in that little spot. It's like I planned it. Um, so that goes in there. And then we do take a baby monitor. We use slumber pods, things like that. So I will be putting that in here as well. So we're packing that. We'll have the cameras here that will go into this little compartment. And then these little guys are great. They're actually reusable little zip ties. So they're silicone, but they work really well for keeping these <laughs> 
organized and unlike the mess that it was that I just had to untangle. So that works out really nice. Comes in a pretty good sized little pack here. So you can use those for all kinds of cables that you might need. Okay, just realized I should have put these in the girls personal little backpacks that we worked on earlier and that's their actual little, they're upside down <laughs> their little cameras um, these actually take like real photos and videos so it's really fun to like capture memories from their perspective and what they see and my girls love these especially if you're somebody like you're a photographer or you vlog or whatever and even if you're not it's just it's really cool so I will link these down below but these are so much fun they're teeny tiny like you can see compared to like my hand they're really small um I'm gonna toss those in their bags too that way they can start like taking pictures and videos and these are seriously like so much entertainment on our trips if you do not have one of these for your kids I promise you they're gonna love it <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Okay, it is 6.30 on Thursday, June 29th. We leave for Disney tomorrow, and I've got to get this stuff in a suitcase and a bag. Um, it is early. I apologize for my messy hair, my no makeup. I just I literally threw on clothes, and I'm trying to get ready. I'm also being quiet because I don't want to wake my girls up. <laughs> They're still sleeping, and so I'm trying to get a few things done, and I just don't want to take the time to put on makeup and stuff right now. So I'm sorry. You are getting me in the raw... So if you're looking like a hot mess while you're packing, we'll just look like a hot mess together. Like, it's not cute. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start packing. Oh, oh, the one thing I did wanna share. <laughs> I impulsively last minute bought one more dress for the girls and I got them these, like, they're called Webby, but it's for Ghost Spider. If your kid uh, loves, like, go or Spidey has amazing friends. How darling is this dress? And it has the little hood. Oh my gosh. I didn't show these to the girls yesterday because I didn't want them to like see them. I'm gonna save them as a surprise for when we're at Disneyland, but they're gonna flip. All the girls love that show and they love ghost spiders. So they're gonna be so excited. Okay, now to put things in bags. Also, another reminder to write down on your calendar two or three days before your arrival day for your trip. Don't forget to order those groceries, any toiletries that you may need, snacks, and don't forget to order snacks for your return flights. If you want anything like Reese's Pieces or peanut butter M&Ms, those are some of our go-tos. I always place those in our grocery order. That way it saves from buying them at the airport and paying like double. Okay, check this out. This is my Stony Clover large pouch and it is holding so stinking much. I have two outfits each for the girls in here and then I have um, two outfits for myself. So a tank top and shorts twice for myself. And then I have a polo for my husband, a pair of shorts for my husband, as well as another t-shirt for him as well. So that's like a lot of stuff. So we are a two outfit per day family, um, even like for my husband and myself. A lot of times we'll, sometimes we won't change shorts or I'll only take one pair of shorts for the day and we'll interchange, but it's so sweaty and hot. I like to sometimes change my clothes because it's just gross. Um, so yeah, that's, and especially with the kids, they get so dirty, it's not even funny. So we're, that's how we pack. Um, uh, I am overlapping some of the outfits so but I was very impressed to get all of that into one packing cube plus packing everything everybody's clothes for one day into a packing cube like this um, or a pouch or whatever is so helpful when you're on vacation you just pull this one out there's no questions nothing and you know what everybody's wearing you don't have to keep up with it and it, it just makes life so much simpler <laughs> Thank you. 
Another thing that I like to do is have one is either like pouch or a um, packing cube that I will put all of our swim gear into. So swimsuits, swim diaper, that sort of thing. That way I can grab the packing cube, especially if we have an early arrival day, we're gonna be heading straight to the pool. I can grab that one packing cube and we are set to go to the pool or the water park or wherever we're gonna go. That just makes it so much easier. So that's another tip, pack all of your swim stuff together instead of separately. So I am big on intermingling things. We do not pack just each individual person in a bag. It just works a little bit better for our family to do it this way for now. I was so scattered this particular morning and forgot to share how I pack our shoes. So I'm gonna just share that here in the voiceover. I will have us wear our bulkiest pair of shoes, namely our tennis shoes. So we will do usually one pair of tennis shoes and then one pair of sandals, which can also double as water shoes. And so that's what we like to do. These sandals obviously are gonna take up a lot less space in the suitcase and in the luggage. So that is what gets packed into our bags. And then we wear our bulky tennis shoes. That makes it a lot easier. PSA, if you are not using TSA at the airport for your security check and you're having to take off your shoes, you should really invest in that. It is amazing and totally worth the spend. Now we are jumping in to packing up the suitcase. Now with this, I am wanting to only have to open up two of these bags when we're at Disney World before going on to our Disneyland leg of the trip. So all of our room stuff, stroller stuff, and then outfits for the Disney World days are going in here. We're only there for two days, so I am packing enough overnight diapers and pull-ups for the evening nighttime underwear as we call them in my suitcase but then once we're off to Disneyland I will order them for that week since we're going to be there for basically an entire week so all of that makes it a lot easier and we'll have the other two bags that we literally won't have to touch we'll sit them in the closet until it's time to leave for the next leg of the trip but that makes it a lot more streamlined and you're not having to dig through every bag. Unfortunately, I was optimistic thinking that all of that would fit in the bag. I did end up having to do a little switcheroo with the Stony Clover large pouches. They were a little too thick, so I had to switch to one of my regular packing cubes. I don't know why my camera's being so blurry. It was pitching a fit, but it did end up working. And then later on, I talk about switching things out and I was able to get the little squatty potty step stool that my toddler uses at our hotel into that carry-on. I didn't want to use the expander feature because as a carry-on bag, it's a lot of times hard to get that one up in the bin space when it's so full. Now, one thing I am doing with my husband's bag is that is being our, what I call trigger bag. So anything liquid, electronic, all that kind of stuff goes into his bag. And that way, if one bag is going to set it off instead of multiples, which is going to streamline our process going through TSA and make it so much simpler if anything needs to be checked. Okay, you guys, I'm going to sit down and double check my packing list. I think I've got everything. It's just those little last minute things that I've got to do. Um, I will still yet have to pack my camera batteries and our daughter's tablets um, and then our computer and charger and everything. But that stuff I won't do until tomorrow because I'll have to, I want to charge it like tonight and then I'll pack it up tomorrow morning. Um, so that's stuff I'm going to do then. I like ditched some stuff like some extra like swimsuits and tank tops and shirts and things. I did that. Um, I was able to get the um, step stool, like the, the st potty stool that we use for my toddler. Um, I was able to get that in my suitcase, but I am taking my one carry-on suitcase. Um, I, it remembered that I had packed my husband's big thick shirt, and oddly enough, when I took this out, it fit. Like one shirt, the change of one shirt. Like, I don't 
don't know how that was the equivalent of the body Z. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was able to take that out and move that around. His bag is going to be, I talked about this in the voiceover, but I am using it as our trigger bag. So everything electronic, liquid, all that stuff is going into this bag. That way, if anything needs to be checked, we do have TSA pre-check, so we don't have to take all that stuff out. But if anything is going to like set the machines off, it's going to be this one single bag instead of things spread out in multiples and having to slow us down in line and get multiples checked. So I know I'm like reiterating that, but I'm telling you that is like my new like favorite gold tip is to put everything in one. Um, we do have to just pack our water bottles that are laying back here and the rest of the stuff I just got to clean up and put back. It's like extra stuff that I decided to not take or things that we didn't need. So that's just, that's that. Um, I'm going to check everything off the list and like feel like Santa Claus checking it twice. Um, but yeah, I think, <laughs> I think I may be packed unless I forget something, which is highly possible. Um, but I was thinking about when we get back from our trip, I always have all these video ideas and I never know when to stop. That's my toxic trait is not knowing when to stop filming videos. Um, because I have so, like, it's a lot. But if you've made it this far, we're just gonna chat for a second. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see an unpacking video and me kind of like chatting about what we used, what we didn't use, things like that. A lot of the stuff we've been to Disney <laughs> quite a few times now. Um, but if, like, there's still things that it's like some trips we use things, some tips, some trips we don't use things. Um, sometimes we go through all of our outfits, sometimes we go through half our outfits. So if you would like to see a recap of that, maybe I can incorporate it into my um, Q&A, then maybe we can do that. Um, but if that's something you would like to see, leave me a comment down below with a suitcase emoji and I'll know what the suitcase means that you'd like to see that video. Um, but yeah, I think that would be kind of fun to do an unpacking style video so you can see how like did we use all this stuff and everything so I think that's gonna do it though if you haven't already don't forget to join the giveaway be sure to leave the comment um, all the instructions are in the description box below but leave your comment and follow or subscribe to myself and JJB here on YouTube but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and packing and prepping and coming along with me I cannot believe we leave for Disney tomorrow I am so excited <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be a whirlwind trip going to both Disney World and Disneyland and it's just oh my god it's like a dream bucket list trip and I can't believe we're doing this I'm really excited you guys so thank you like the video subscribe all the things I will see you right back here in the next one bye